Hey, good morning. Hope you're having a fabulous weekend. It's Nudia Hernandez, your host of Intercom Radio's Public Affairs Show. You know, every year we take part in Earth Day here at Intercom. So all of the DJs you listen to, everyone on the radio, we get out there. Uh, last year, we went to a few parks. We picked up trash, like things like that. Um, our company is very big on doing everything that we can to help out in our local communities. We have our One Thing initiative. Uh, we don't use paper cups or straws here in the building, which could get a little bit annoying. Uh, but to talk a little bit more about uh, this upcoming Earth Day, I do have on the phone with me Executive Director for Get Outdoors Nevada, Rachel Berglin with us. Hi. Hi, Nudia. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for having me on with you today. Awesome. I'm excited. You're one of the organizations we're partnering with this year for our One Thing Initiative. So for someone who hasn't heard of Outdoors Nevada, what exactly is your organization? Get Outdoors Nevada is a nonprofit organization dedicated to connecting Nevadans and visitors of all ages and backgrounds to our state's diverse outdoor spaces. Um, And we do our work through a wide range of, of activities, such as education programs, volunteer service opportunities, and community engagement activities. I was looking at, at your website and the things that you do, and it's a, it's a lot of, you know, group ap- activities, and there's a lot of projects that Get Outdoors Nevada is a part of. How has your organization changed since the pandemic? Has it, mm. has it been a, an adjustment? Yeah, certainly. Um, but the good news is that Get Outdoors Nevada has continued to deliver on our mission of connecting people to our state's outdoor spaces um, throughout the pandemic. But like many community-based organizations, we've had to pivot in order to continue to do so responsibly and safely. Of course, we want to keep everybody safe. Um, so some examples of, of ways that we've pivoted, um, one would be our, our education team has transformed our existing programs and resources or created brand new ones in some cases and made those available online to families, teachers, and students. So providing opportunities online and through virtual um, connections. And then our volunteer team um, has adopted really robust safety protocols, of course, wearing masks, um, uh, social distancing, hand washing, using hand sanitizer and sanitizing any shared equipment. Um, to ensure that our community members can safely participate in service events like trail and park cleanups and native habitat restoration projects. And uh, we've even added some remote volunteer opportunities for uh, members of the community who maybe aren't ready to return to in-person events. What is Earth Day like for Get Outdoors Nevada? What what kind of things do you guys have going on? Yeah, well, uh, you know, every day is Earth Day for Get Outdoors Nevada, right? (laughs) love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, and, and we want, you know, we want everybody to enjoy um, the great outdoors every day and, and really celebrate um, this awesome planet that we all share. Good Outdoors Nevada does welcome everyone to discover, experience, and connect with our diverse outdoor spaces. And there are lots of ways to get involved. And uh, we have many upcoming volunteer service events planned. Uh, you can learn about these events on our website at www www.getoutdoorsnevada.org and and look for the events section. This year for Earth Day uh, specifically, we are looking forward to hosting some of our favorite community groups during Earth Week um, for some park beautification projects and trails maintenance um, activities as well. Um, For example, we're planning a beautification event at Sunset Park on Friday, April 23rd and two community planting events at Centennial Hills Park and Pioneer Park in partnership with the city of Las Vegas. Um, And that one's on Saturday, or those two rather, are on Saturday, April 24th. Um, And update and information will will be posted to our website soon uh, about those uh, upcoming events. So you just mentioned you you do planting, and, and how exactly does that work? Yeah, so uh, the planting events, uh, we are working closely with the um, City of Las Vegas and the park, the Parks and Recreation Division, um, and they, you know, they are primarily responsible for all of the, providing all of the wonderful um, landscaping and, and habitats um, at our parks, um, the city parks, and we partner with them to help to uh, 
engage the community in, in actually putting some of these plants in the ground. Um, so for these upcoming planting events, um, I believe that we're actually going to be planting some trees, uh, which is really wonderful. Um, but we also have uh, some native habitat projects where we are planting uh, plants, native plants that encourage uh, our native birds and pollinators uh, to, to stop on by um, and spend time in, the, in the, the, those natural habitats um, to, you know, help um, keep uh, those, those native species healthy um, and um, producing. So April 22nd is the official Earth Day, right? Um, but, um, you know, we think, as a lot of other organizations do, that um, planet Earth deserves more than just a day. Um, and so if we can celebrate um, Earth you know, Earth Day for a full week. We we want to do that. And, you know, some organizations um, and we even have events going on throughout April that we can really um, use to celebrate that special day of Earth Day. Um, so we have a number of events um, happening during Earth Week. Some of those are with with private. Uh, groups that have requested to do service projects, and so that is um, a service that we provide to the community um, to help them get organized, um, to connect them with projects that need support um, in their local community, at their local parks, for example. Um, and then we provide all of the the um, on-the-job training, if you will, and all of the equipment that might be needed, whether that is uh, uh, tongs that you can use to pick up trash more safely, gloves, uh, garbage bags. Uh, maybe if we're doing some um, gardening, we might want to provide you with pr uh, pruning equipment or clippers. Uh, and we, we tell you all of the things that need to be done and how, how to do it um, appropriately uh, to make sure that we're keeping that, that um, habitat healthy. So, yeah, so there are a number of things that we have going on that week, and uh, you can learn more about them on our website. You know what's so funny? Perfect segue. I was just about to talk about your website, uh, getoutdoorsnevada.org. When I, uh, of course, before this interview, I, I was looking at, at the website, and I like I thought it was so awesome that you, uh, some of the projects you, you know you have on here, you have your on your community engagement page. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I saw that you are a part of the Las Vegas Community Healing Garden. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So Good Outdoors Nevada partners with the city of Las Vegas to help to care for the community healing garden, which, of course, we all know honors the lives of those um, that were lost on October 1st, 2017. Um, the garden also um, represents, you know, a celebration of, of life, of those lives, um, and the lives of those who, who survived that horrendous event. Um, and then the beauty and love and, and compassion that um, our community needs to heal from, from that event. And some of the ways that we support that work uh, are through monthly meetings uh, with uh, a, the Healing Guard Garden Committee. So there's a committee of community members uh, and um, representatives from different organizations and agencies that are interested in, in making sure that the, the Healing Garden um, remains um, as beautiful as it is and, and open and available to our community. Uh, so we have monthly meetings, and we also help to facilitate the care, maintenance, and improvements um, that uh, come through recommendations from that committee. And then for, you know, for your listeners, we also host monthly service days at the Garden, and those occur on the last Wednesday of each month. And uh, you can learn more about those um, on our events page. And then also other community-based programs at the Garden throughout the year, um, especially, uh, you know, one in particular, of course, would be on the anniversary um, and Day of Remembrance um, on October 1. So uh, there will be, um, you know, an event planned, and, and hopefully uh, at that point um, on the calendar we'll, we'll be able to uh, gather um, safely and uh, remember um, the events of that day. And then if, if you continue, there's so many awesome projects you have on here. Um, you know, you are partnered with the National Park Service, so that includes Lake Mead, and also you have a lot of the trails and, and loops that that mm -hmm. uh, you're partnered with here as well. Uh, this is kind of just an awesome, also uh, informational place to find out about some of our outdoor space, because I, I didn't know, you know, uh, the other day, like I wanted to go on a hike, and I'm like, okay, 
If I don't go mm-hmm. up to Red Rock, where do I go? So it's also a great tool to find out how to get outside safely, like where we're allowed to do mm-hmm. a loop or do a trail or things like that, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's definitely something to, to keep in mind, right? Because right now, uh, more than ever, we all need to be getting outside and spending time in nature to, uh, you know, to deal with um, the stress and, and the pressures that that we're, we're facing right now, especially in the midst of this pandemic. And getting outside is one of the best things that we can do for our well-being, our physical health, and our, and our mental health. Um, so definitely want to encourage your listeners to do that. Um, and, and yes, Get Outdoors Nevada is honored to collaborate with many local and regional agency partners, including the National Park Service um, and specifically the Lake Mead National Recreation Area. And uh, one of our projects I think that you probably read about is uh, our Love Lake Mead initiative, which um, is ab- about Get Outdoors Nevada being the official education and fundraising partner for, for Lake Mead National Recreation Area. And this program supports student field trips and education programs, water safety initiatives, and resource stewardship projects. And one project that's really cool uh, is that we, that I wanted to highlight is we work with local veterans groups to sponsor dive trips uh, to help map the underwater resources in Lake Mead. So that's a really unique program that we have going on there. Um, and then about the, the point that you were making about, you know, wanting to get out and, you know, go for a hike. Good for you. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> and so it does remind me though of another resource that I, I wanted to share with your listeners is, um, is a, pro, a project um, called um, Neon to Nature, which uh, we partner with the Southern Nevada Health District on this um, project. And it's actually an app that you can download to your phone. And so if you go to like your, you know, your app store for whatever device you have, you can find, um, just do a, a search for Neon to Nature and you'll find this app and you can download it. And what it does is it helps you to locate um, public spaces, trails and parks that are close to you uh, that you can, um, you know, you can get to within walking distance. Uh, it also has some filter features. So if you want to put in some specific characteristics of a type of place that you might be looking for, um, it can also help you um, locate a place that you can go and, and spend some time outside. Um, oh, wow. You know, based, yeah, that's a great, on, that's a great uh, feature there. Yeah, yeah. So definitely t- check that out. Again, it's uh, Neon to Nature. So Neon, of course, is a reference to the strip and um, uh, <laughs> the, the ways that we think often many people think about Las Vegas and, and don't, don't maybe realize or um, uh, maybe forget that there, we have these incredible outdoor spaces. So that's the to nature part, neon to nature. If you're just tuning in, I do have Rachel Berglin here with us, an executive director for Get Outdoors Nevada. Every year, uh, our company, Intercom here, and all the radio stations and everyone you listen to, we take part in something important for our earth here, uh, you know, our little community of, of the Las Vegas Valley and, and do whatever we can. Last year, we, we picked up trash at some parks and we have a one thing initiative that we do all year long, which is we try to do one thing a little bit better for our environment and our community. And we are just uh, discussing some things happening with the Get Outdoors Nevada, what they are doing for Earth Week. Earth Day is April 22nd. They have a lot of things going on, uh, not only on Earth Day, Earth Week, but all year long. So, Rachel, we've talked about some of these awesome programs you guys have. If someone wants to get involved with Get Outdoors Nevada, how would they do that? Yes, and thank you for this opportunity to to share all of this um, information about ways that folks can get involved. So, you know, as a community-based nonprofit, Get Outdoors Nevada exists because of the support of our community, and and that includes our donors, our volunteers, and of course our program participants. And these are all ways that you can get involved and support our work. And the best way to find out more information is uh, there are a couple of ways. But first, I would say go to our website, which is getoutdoorsnevada.org. And again, this is the best place to find information about programs, events, volunteer opportunities, and how your donation can support Get Outdoors Nevada's uh, programs and projects. 
Um, and we thank you. Um, if you're already a supporter, thank you so much for that um, in whatever way you're supporting. Um, and we welcome, you know, welcome everyone to get involved. Um, another, you know, fun way and, and easy way to connect with us is on social media. And so we have a Facebook page, of course, a Twitter account, Instagram, and TikTok, um, where our staff are sharing great content um, in, in sort of like little digestible nuggets, if you will, and um, also information about upcoming programs and events. And so, uh, you know, if you're you know, um, on social media, which, you know, I think a lot of us are, most of us are, um, at least on one, if not two or more or all of those platforms, uh, <laughs> there are great ways for, uh, to connect with us and our team. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rachel, for being here with us. Thank you again, Nudia, for this great opportunity. We really appreciate it. And uh, We'll look forward to seeing everyone um, outdoors.